you know, interview where, where James said that they, they would make Nitro in, into one of the top offers in North America, which was like, come on now, let's let's not let's not get insane, let's not get crazy. But either way, Fnatic very quickly just gonna head over towards this B bomb site, a mid push from two members of Team Liquid, and actually Fnatic they decide to drop into into these underhauls, and they're just gonna push forward. Two kills for Liquid come out, but Dennis trying to equalize things finds a Dren, so it's down to a three on four. Yeah, but a nice start there to the round for Liquid. They've got Hiko down at 9 HP, though, so this is going to be a little bit of a difficulty for them moving on forward, but the nades come out and towards the upper side of that B-Halls, and they found a little bit of damage there on the JW. It's going to be on Nitro, but he can't lock it down. Now they've got another player over here. It's going to be Hiko, but again, he's one tap away from losing his life. He pushes forward, but Dennis takes him down. It's now a lesion Fugly, and we talked about Fugly with his pistol work in the past. He hasn't been able to shine. We'll see whether or not he can bring this one back this round, but this is going to be a very difficult retake here for the CT side of Liquid because they've given so much time, and JW and Krims not having any of it. 0-3 now, Liquid are in pistol rounds, and in the last two matches, they're now 1-8 in pistol rounds. That is a stark uh, statistic for them. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That round, I mean, they started out with, good with that mid push. They, they gain mid control. They get a kill. And they're actually up a man. Just later on in the round, it just kind of falls apart. That mid control, you know, was, didn't really have an impact later on. Fnatic with a good call to just hit the B bomb site. And from there, I mean, that's the thing. It was a four on three, and, and nobody else died from the Fnatic side. So now, already one kill on the Fugly, who's at the top of A ramp. There's a double scout set up from Adren and Elyse. And Elyse does find a nice headshot. He's brought down to two HP, though. Yeah, but the big thing is, is that he was able to do a little bit of damage. Ooh, that fire isn't going to spread enough. Elise, he's just tucked back in there. But Dennis is just going to take the forward fight and shuts him down anyway. They knew that they had him locked down and isolated in that corner. No chance for recovery from him. 2 HP. I'm surprised that that Molotov didn't spread, but flush it with the UMP is going to find one more. They've got to deal with Nitro. He's going to come around the corner, and Dennis is going to be there with the P90. Now it's going to be on a drain, and he can't line it up. JW takes him down, and now he's gone back to the J Wonder Child nomenclature that we know I'm so familiar under. Yeah, big investment though for Liquid that round. Upgraded pistols, two scouts. And only get one kill. Not really not really enough damage is dealt there. So Fnatic up to a strong lead, starting to build up that bank. In fact, Flusha is just keeping the 5-7. So we'll see what he has to do with that. Olaf has that UMP if he wants to build up some money. Dennis with the P90 still. And Olaf's just gonna get mad aggressive. He's, I mean, there's a nice four-man stack here from Liquid. They're going to push forward onto him, but he's winning those duels initially long range. Nitro eventually cleans him out, but meanwhile, they've given up the B bomb site. So all they have to work with is a UMP moving forward. Yeah, and they actually smoked off the top side of Cat, so the chance of a return here from the CT side is going to be very limited. They're going to spam the smoke, but Crims going to take down Nitro. And now they're going to go for the boost play over the top. We see CLG doing this a lot of times with uh, Tarek, but... Look at this, they're actually going to go for the reverse boost over the boost. And now look for a knife kill. JW actually drops down, spams him through the smoke, finishes it off. But that was actually kind of uh, kind of funny there. They went for the boost on the T side up on top of double stack boxes on catwalk. And then the CTs opted to go for their own little cheeky boost. But unfortunately, JW was already up on top. And he lines him up, takes him down. Fnatic up 3-0. We're coming into our first rifle round. No ops on the board here for the CT side, but a double op setup for the terrorist side. They're going all in. Yeah, that's that's very aggressive with these with these AWPs. Flush is going to take his over towards the A holes, and Olaf he has his towards mid. But look at this aggression now from from Team Liquid pushing down ramp. Dennis is going to get that first one. That's a P90 that he grabs that kill with. So it's down to a four on four. And that push is uh, is forced back towards the site. So Funky's still going to be playing behind the smoke. Flush hasn't been able to get too aggressive, and Crimson is just trying to see if he can get any kind of a lucky shot. Olaf still making up middle, being very, very patient, just holding an angle, waiting to see if anyone is going to push Catwalk, but it's going to be a Dren in Window Room, and he's in a tough spot. No more nades at all on the Liquid side, except for Fugly's two flashes, and he's stuck inside Window. He can't get out at the moment. Yeah, the other big thing to note was that Hiko is actually solo B right now, and he's dealt with JW, but that bomb is working its way up through the halls. Olaf Meister with an uncharacteristic whiff there onto a Dren, trying to get his way out of the Window Room, and he actually does manage to do so, so he's going to be looking to fall back and maybe join up with Hiko in the b -box. Site, that's exactly where he's going to be going through market right now, looking for some more action. That bomb has been dropped in the B-Halls. 39 seconds left on the clock, and there's still not really a whole lot of progress being made thus far for Fnatic's side. See where they decide to go. It looks like it is going to be towards the B-Bomb site. They might just... It almost looks like they might just... Oh, save this almost just because of how much time Olaf with 4 HP, he can't be the one to really get into any kind of a fight. He's going to go over that up. It's flush up. Catwalk, who initially gets it, there's a Dren to drop him. Olaf does trade it off, and all of a sudden, they're, they're into a two-on-two. -two. 
Yeah, nice trades. I mean, something that Fnatic excels at across the board is just getting those return kills like that and flush it. They just peek out into his op. They didn't realize that they had the double op set up until that moment right then. And that was right the moment where they realized that they had messed up. Here comes the push. Yeah, this is really tough. Liquid gets that kill. Nice oh. trade from Nitro, though. Finds the headshot onto Crims. So they do make it work, even without a kit. You're going to be able to get this and salvage an AWP for the next round. They'll be able to put that into Adren's hands. Still plenty of money, despite investing a lot in a double up setup on the Fnatic side and Olaf and, and Flusha. Uh, I mean, you look at Crims has about 6k. Dennis has 6k. I mean, they're all up now around 8k after the money comes in. So... Plenty of money to drop some weapons over to Olaf and Flusha, who are low in economy, and Fnatic's going to get one more buy round. And Liquid now, the tough part, losing four players and winning that round, everything's going to be a little dodgy. They're going to be a little bit light on utility here and there. Adren does have the AWP that was dropped over to him, but, you know, he goes on a FAMAS. They only have two kits to work with. You know, they only have three smokes. Oh, well, that's going to help out, though. A nice find oh, for Adren. Almost, almost a gets second. a second. Yeah, but Elise is going to be there to clean up Flusha as well. Now they realize that it's going to be a push onto the A bomb site, so all of those players pushed up in mid are going to fall back towards Connector, and it's going to fall on Adren here to try to get these opening picks. They're going to smoke him off, though. He's not really going to have a good line of sight in towards this palace side. Actually, they smoked the stairs, so he can still see these crossing players. And Olaf Meister, pardon me, Dennis, their names look so familiar on the screen, but it's going to be Dennis to try to take that battle. But a, a good early two opening frags here for Liquid. They're going to be searching for some more. Dennis trying to get his way into the site. Krems is going to be able to find Fugly. The pop flash over the top. JW trying to make something happen. And he's going to do that. And as he does that, Krems finds another one. And all of a sudden, we're down to a 2v2. Dennis with another. And it's all on Hika in a 1v2 against him and uh, against Dennis and JW. The bomb is going to get planted here. Let's see if he can clutch this one out. He's been so good in the past in these situations. But... This is just a really, really tough spot for these two terrorists to be in, and JW finishes it off. Look at frustration there on Hiko's face as that round goes the way of Fnatic. Yeah, it's got to be incredibly frustrating. That's a nice initial shot. I mean, the advantage they have in a five on three. Smart play by Fnatic to get up, but Lemmy Crims just does some work, and JW bides his time until it's the right moment to pounce, and it works perfectly. But with that kind of an advantage that Team Liquid had, you can't drop those rounds. Smart play from Fnatic to just get their way up into A because they know there's a lot of mid pressure, but so good at forcing Liquid into, into committing to these fights and these peaks, and Crims punishes both of them for it. And now it's back onto the save for Team Liquid. Once again on their CT side, not able to string two rounds together. Fugly takes some shots over at Flusha, but he's not going to win that battle. Elyse also falls. And Fnatic complete control of this round of this anti-eco. I mean, it's just a little all over the place right now for them. Dren actually even insult to injury gets spammed up through the wall there at the top side of connector. So he's going to go down and now it's Hiko to try to make a play. Don't think he actually spotted that player on catwalk. That's going to be Dennis trying to get himself out of dodge here. So USP is going to be trying to find some damage onto him. Hiko popping some shots. He's not going to connect with any of those. And now he does. Takes him down. Swift headshots there from the silent USP. Now he's trying to get himself away. AWP comes into play, but JW is going to be there to clean that one up. The last man standing is going to be Nitro. He goes down to Flush's MP7. Two frags on the round for Flusha and a salvaged AK. So he's putting a little bit of money in the bank as well. And you can see JW is actually over 9K. He's 9-1, and one, and Dennis is at 8-2. and two. So two of the players that have, you know, I want to say they've struggled a little bit as this weekend has come to fruition, starting to really step their game up here on Mirage. Yeah, it was the harshest of all resets, though. Go down to just one player and then get reset. This is a double save for Team Liquid. Can't even they couldn't even afford to buy if they wanted to there. They might have had, you know, Famuses with very light armor, just not enough arsenal this early on. You gotta slow down Fnatic in your next buy round or else you're in a lot of trouble for this half. It could just snowball out of control completely. But look at this setup. Four members of Team Liquid over towards the A bomb site. There's two flashbangs. Nitro and Elise both have one. So if they're able and if Liege is able to pop flash into A main, they could find an opportunity. JW, this is going to be a good Molotov. Elyse is down there around the corner. That's going to flush him out, but they take the peek. Fugly is going to go for it, and Elyse comes in for the answer, but it's Krims to shut him down as well. It's a two-for-one It's a two for one trade. Make that a three-for-one now as Olaf Meister chimes in on a Nitro. The last two both tucked away underneath of the balcony. He'll be looking for more. Dennis is going to find one. Krims finds the other, and that's going to be that six-to-one scoreline. And Fnatic, they're off and rolling six rounds already on their T side of Mirage. Yeah, this could start getting ugly. Adren has the AWP, though, this round. Last time it helped him out when they wanted to do some kind of mid-pressure. Are they going to go back to it? Yeah, we saw that early little glimmer of hope, at least. I mean, they, they went for that mid-push and actually did relatively well with it as they were able to pick up a couple of kills out of that. So this time around, we're going to be seeing a little bit more of a passive setup on the CT side. As you can see, it's going to be Hiko and Nitro, but Adren opened things up. 
This time he's playing back on connector. It's going to be a leash to find Olaf Meister. This is looking good. A leash finds a second one. That's Crims down and out. There's a nice pop flash, and Fugly goes in on Dennis. And just like that, this is exactly what Liquid needs. They need to come out on top of this one, and they've got a four-man advantage. They need to come out with as many rifles in hand as they possibly can. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. They win all their battles this time. Everything went their way. Really good stuff. Down to just JW, and any kill he can get is going to be helpful to try and force some kind of a drop. But Liquid with five members surviving, that would be wonderful for them to be able to try and string two together. Yeah, they have no money to work with right now. And, and they have to. I mean, this is already a point where Fnatic probably, you got to assume, they have as many rounds as they need already. You can't let them get too much more. Yeah, six rounds on the T side, especially with as good as Fnatic CT side is on this map. JW, he's going to be able to find Fugly, takes him down. Nice little bit of an opening here. If he does a 1v5 here, that would be absolutely mental. But with 35 seconds and only an alt to play with, it's going to be very, very difficult for him to do anything. So it looks like he's just going to maybe go for a couple of kills here and try to hang on to this alt for the remainder of this one. But again, he's still pushing forward, actually throws the smoke out, trying to bait him out. But Dren almost, almost bites on that peak, but decides to bite his time. And JW still working these smokes. See what he can find, trying to find that shot. He goes all the way back around, but he's going to get flanked. If he doesn't, Hiko takes him down. And finally, Liquid are going to be able to find their second one. And here we go. Nitro's got the op, double op set up here for Team Liquid. Let's see what they can do with it. Yeah, and as the B player with, with Nitro, I mean, they're, they're going to be able to just say, all right, we're going to put you in halls, and we're just very much going to leave you alone. You know, once in a while, they'll play with him on Catwalk, maybe exert some pressure in mid with a double op, one from window or connector, one from Catwalk. But for the most part in the late rounds, they're just going to say, Nitro, get up on the van. Use that up. You'll have, you know, you can spot them out pretty early on. He's even going to use a Molotov here just to slow things down, just in case, to give him that safety. But he's already smoked off by Fnatic. Four members over towards the B bomb site for Fnatic. They're in the halls, but they're waiting just a little bit longer. They're trying to bide their time. It's only Olaf Meister in mid who's going to be able to cut off rotations, and here comes the hit. And this is really going to be on Nitro. What can he do? He's going to be able to find one. He's going to get flashed out, but the flashes are going to fade. He's going to be able to find a second one. That's a nice find. Looks for a third, and he gets it. He's got one more up in the halls to beat. That's Crims. This is a massive hold with the AWP in the backside of the site from Bench with Nitro. Dren finds another one. These ops are doing work this round. Last one to come around is Olaf Meister on Catwalk. He's going to take the peak. Can't get the damage out. And Leash finishes him off. Another clean round from Team Liquid, and it comes on the back of, once again, Nitro getting those entries with that AWP. Yeah, really good stuff. I mean, that's the that third, third shot. shot. Yeah, it's really nice. Woo! Nice flick over, very quick, Daddy. efficient. So once again, everyone survives for, for Team Liquid. So now they're just building up the bank. Now, I mean, as long as they as long as long they crush Fnatic here in this round, don't lose to these Tech Nines and Pistols. Now that you've done the work, you've got yourself a foothold into this matchup to make the comeback. Start having a pretty solid defense. Don't lose it. Don't drop the ball here. And that's the important thing. You can see a Dren. He's not blinded up here in window. They are going to go ahead and smoke him off. They know that he's there. They drop the Molotov out. It's going to flush him out of position. They're going to go for an immediate boost. He's burning alive. He's down to 23. He goes for the crawl space and ends up losing a lot of his health. But he's forced so far away. And Fnatic has boosted up into window. They have full mid control. They can do whatever they want. Uh, they have complete control of this map despite not having the best arsenal. They've taken no damage. Yeah, this is scary. They can come back around jungle and flank these players in A, and it looks like they want to go for a little bit of a crush here under the A bomb. So you can see Olaf Meister just toying with that smoke on catwalk, but they're going to work back around, send a couple up through connector, and looks like actually I um, believe that's Dennis with the AK is going to fall all the way back around towards terrorist spawn and make his way over to join his comrade up on A ramp. Now look at this counter play. Fugly goes aggressive and Crims nails the Juan D, takes him down, and that is going to be the advantage that Fnatic was looking for. Now we see grouped up here on catwalk in the ladder room and subsequently in the window room. This is going to be a huge massive hit onto this A bomb site, and it's going to be a liege behind the reverse fireboxes seeing whether or not he can lock this one down. This is actually a pretty beneficial position for him to be in, but Nitro is going to miss the opening shot, and now they're going to know. He finds Krims, takes him down. A liege still yet to peek. They don't know that he's back here, and now he's going to pounce. Now he's going to be able to come around the backside. He's going to find one, finds two. Can he get the third? No, he cannot, and Olaf Meister takes down a Dren. It's all on Hiko in a 1v2, and Olaf Meister up close here by the window room. Looking for this final kill. He's going to spot him coming through. Hiko can't land the shots, and Olaf Meister takes him down. Insult to injury, spam out the clip. 
that that can't happen. I mean, first, first of all, Fnatic with all that mid control, that's beautiful. Fnatic, or Olaf gets into that great position. That push by Fugly, he did the same thing on Cash. That mid round push into door for information all alone. Fnatic had no smokes to work with to execute onto this bomb site. He doesn't fall there. If Fugly's playing a little bit more passive, uh, you know. Also, if you're gonna make that push, have a pop flash. You know, Crimson's committed on that ramp. You had. Nitro with the pop flash playing in CT spawn. You have a liege there as well. Either double up on it and ensure that you get control of that ramp, or just throw one pop flash. And now we see some mid aggression coming out from Liquid. Are they going to check the corner here? Are they going to? Uh, well, that's a brilliant pop flash, Olaf Meister. He's going to completely blind a liege over there, and he's going to be able to take him down. Nicely done from him. JW harassing the B halls. Going to go toe to toe with Hiko here. See what happens as we do see a resurgence of aggression on Catwalk. It's going to be fugly long range, loses the battle, flush it. They double peek it, take him down. And this is just methodical CS from Fnatic. They're just taking these battles and they've got this buddy system that's just working so well for them. All right, we're going to take mid control. Olaf Meister and Flusha go ahead and push on out there. And they find two kills with it. Yeah, and they're they're playing these rounds so smart in the mid round. You're slowing things down when they need to be. And look at this. They have a two-man advantage, and they're just manipulating the fact that Liquid has no information. Nitro and Adren, though, they punish it. Two kills for them. Adren with the AWP. Now they're going to smoke things off. Now they're going to flash everything. The bomb's going to get into the site. It's going to go down, and it's going to be a three-on-three -three retake. There is one kit onto Hiko. Yeah, and Adren, he's pretty far up here, but he's the only one in the site, and they flash on through. He can't hit the shot. Nitro does clean up. Olaf Meister, though, and we're going to be down to a two versus two, but he goes so low. If he loses his kit in CT spawn, this is going to be really difficult for Nitro to go back and recover. He's going to drop the pop flash out, and the peak will come behind this. That's not going to do much. As you can see, Dennis actually all the way back behind Fireboxes, popping a couple of shots out here to keep him, you know, pinpoint on his position while JW can just harass down here on the stairs. And there you go, it's Dennis to clean it up. Two big kills at the end for him. It got a little closer than I thought it was going to, being that it was three on five early in that round. But again, you know, Liquid, they're just not able to capitalize on this. Yeah, now the snowball's starting to roll. Fnatic, once again, complete control of this match economically. Team Liquid is back onto a save, and you can see a pause coming out for them here. Need to talk some things over, need to figure out what they're doing, because if they want a chance, they're going to have to. I mean, if this round gets, if Fnatic wins this, gets up towards nine, then Liquid's going to have to win those last three rounds of the half. So Fnatic's just been doing a beautiful job, and a lot of it is coming down to that mid control. You know, you, you talked about the keys of for what, what Liquid needed to do, and they had to have control of mid, and they haven't really been able to do it. Fnatic's been taking it from them. And you can see what it allows them to do, how they can manipulate the map. They can get a pick, they can get players into nice spots. You know, they can boost it up into window room or, or up above the ladder, cut off rotations. You just get that one kill and all of a sudden it slows everything down for Team Liquid. And then they can rotate anywhere they want on the map. And again, taking a look over there at the Liquid coach, James, giving an earful to his teammates, letting them know that this is what we need to do going forward into this one. You know, they're going to take a brilliant opportunity here to just talk things over and try to figure out what kind of strategy they need going into the next round. Is It's just looking like Fnatic is just going to run away with this one. They're on the verge of going up 9-3. to three. That's a huge terrorist side lead to take into the second half, especially with as strong as we've seen Fnatic on their CT side of such a map like Mirage. I mean, we saw... Basically, uh, them destroy Conquest in day one. You know, not really much that they could do on that one. And then, uh, you know, pretty much in any previous tournament, there really hasn't been a team that's really contested Fnatic on this map, as opposed to, like, you know, your XTSM or Virtus Pro, and for that matter. Liquid actually had the economy of, of Fnatic down very, very low. So, I mean, it's a little bit of a bummer that they got reset here, because they were almost able to break it at a certain point. And to get back, I mean, to, to gain that advantage back, you can see Flush out Olaf Meister. They've picked up a MAC-10 into this next round. They know that it's going to be a save. They know they're more than likely not going to be going up against any armor. So they're going to try and farm a little bit of money, build that up, feel a little bit more strength than going into the end of this first half. And this time, I mean, this is a big thing as well. They're not having that massive individual performance on this map. And, you know, they, they've just been able to do virtually whatever they want. Yeah, and that's really the big thing, like you said. I mean, we talk about maps like Cache and Mirage, and even so, sometimes on Dust 2, you know, how mid control is so incredibly important on those maps. You know, you take over that, and you've got so many different avenues of attack when it comes down to, you know, all right, we can go, you know, split connector and A. We can split cat and B. We can, you know, all these different opportunities for these teams to utilize this positional awareness of having mid because you've got, you open the map up so much from that. And that's one of the things that Fnatic has just been doing so well. They did it on Cash earlier in their comeback victory over Team Liquid on map number one. 
Yeah, and once again, Fnatic just basically bull rushes up Catwalk. These Mac 10s going to work. Three kills for him so far into this round, and it's just fugly. He's going to be rotating from that A bomb site. Flush is going to try and find him through the smoke and almost does it. And he's going to just swing out as it clears. Finish off that last kill. So 9 to 3 now for Fnatic and Team Liquid. And they're going to have to buy into this round. But it's going to be. It's going to be rough. Yep. Yeah, sitting around. Are they. Yes. Are they not going to buy? Are they going to buy? Okay, they're buying. Yep. That scared me a little bit for a second. But I mean, look at the the biggest part about this isn't the fact that, yeah, they got rifles in their hands. The biggest fact about it is that they have no. Uh, no utility really to use. I mean, they've already thrown out a smoke. Elise has dropped his already. He dropped actually two smokes already in this round. And you can see the only nade kits that they have are actually on the back of Hiko, Nitro, and Adrin. And you're down to four flashes and two smokes, and you've already lost a member at B to a quick play from Fnatic. So this is nice stuff from them. I mean, should, should be able to clean out Nitro, and they do. Fugly does get a return kill. And actually, Adren over there, he cheats over towards that B bomb site, and they find another one. The bomb is actually down in the B halls. They don't know this yet, but it actually turns out in the favor of Liquid with a man advantage. This is some of that game sense from Olaf Meister. He knows with all that pressure at B, more than likely forced a rotation back from the last player at A. I think he saw Elysia's shoulder, too, over here. Yeah, he might have, and he's going to go for this peak. He just crouches. Oh. He wins it anyway. He wins the duel. Nicely Disgusting. done. But now, I mean, look at him. He's just still on a tear. The bomb is going to come up connector as well. The defense is still split because they have to be honest for the B bomb site. Now it's just going to be a nightmare rotating back for Adren because you don't know if Olaf's going to be there. And he finds the timing, gets another one. He's going to get caught out with his back turn. But now that leaves Flusher with the knowledge of where the remaining member is. And Flusher, that, you know, that clutch guy for the clutch guy for Fnatic. I mean, you, we see him all the time winning these. And he's got all the, all the info he needs. Yeah, and the big thing about it, too, is that he also had 39 seconds to figure out what he wants to do. So the longer that he delays this plant, the longer it makes Fugly sweat. And you can see he's actually gambling towards the B-bomb site. Not going to be the right call. He's going to have to hightail it all the way back towards A. And it's 100 HP versus 100 HP. The only benefit that Fugly has right now is that he has a smoke to work with and that he's on 100 HP. Because if he goes for the smoke defuse and the nade comes in, it's not going to finish him off. We'll see where he decides to drop the smoke. He's actually going to throw it towards the A ramp. And that's a good call. That is where he's going to be. There's the return nade and the push through, and Fugly's going to get it. But again, you talk about keeping members alive to stabilize your economy, and this is another situation where they weren't able to do that. And he's not actually going to get the defuse, so that's Fnatic picking up another one. And uh, I spoke a little bit too soon on that one. Didn't get that kill in time. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. No kit. But it is smart to use that smoke over towards a ramp because if you if you smoke off the bomb and just try and stick a 10-second defuse, chances are you're going to get caught at a certain point. If you, if you throw it at that A-ramp, look, it forces Flush to get aggressive through it. He's got to have the intel. Now, he wins the battle, but without a kit, they lose the round anyway. So just one more thing going against Team Liquid here. And 10 to 3 now for Fnatic. Olaf is back on the AWP. Liquid is back on the pistols. And it's fast play over towards this B-bomb site. That one kill from Flusha has caused the defense to evacuate out of the B-bomb site. So this should be an easy plant. Yeah, and right now it's just a rinse and repeat scenario here for Team Liquid throughout this half. And you can see Fugly, he's going to get aggressive. They're going to put three guns in the face of Flusha, three pistols for that matter in the face of Flusha, but that's just going to alert them that, hey, he already got a kill over here in A. There's three more players. B, bomb site, pretty much open for business, and that's what they're going to find right now as they go and get the bomb plant and take control for yet another round. Got to try and go for this, but Dennis is just dealing so much damage. Send the pistols and see if you can get anything going. JW is geared up for a backstab, too. He's going to find one there onto a Dren. Adjusts the aim and takes down Fugly, and it's a clean sweep here after uh, losing Flusha early in the round. So 11-3, to three, and this is just a completely dominant half from Fnatic. And Team Liquid, if they don't get this last round, even if they win the pistol round, they still don't give themselves much of a cushion to work with in the second half. They can't afford any mistakes. <sighs> Yeah, and now double up set up back Nitro with the AWP. We saw the last time this happened, Nitro had you know had that triple kill round over in the B bomb site. One of the few shining moments from Team Liquid here. But very, very quick mid presence from Fnatic. Already out and peeking E, not even with the smoke or a flash whatsoever. One member already up connector. This is Dennis being really, really aggressive. He's gonna oh win that battle goodness. against Elige. Knows there's one more, and Olaf's gonna pick one off. That's a Dren peeking into win. A one of the AWPs down so quickly are they whittling away this defense. And that's just, you know, the awareness from Fnatic. You know, they just speed things up again. This time it's going to pay dividends for him. Nitro is going to be able to get a return frag. He goes there as well. So they're slowly whittling down the offensive here from Fnatic. But again, it's a 2v3. The bomb is going to get planted here in A. But the only saving grace is Fugly down here on the A ramp. But it looks like Krim's nose. And it doesn't even matter what Krim's nose. Flusha just, just destroys him. 
Fugly's not able, and Fugly's not having a lot of fun right now. Not no. too much has been going his way. They do have a kit this time on Ahiko as well as two smokes. The Crims, wisely, is going to peek. He's going to smoke oh. off, or he's going to Molotov the bomb, but that gets smoked off as well, so now it's not effective whatsoever, but that is just swinging, taking a fight. Crims is going to win the first one. Flusha is low, but so is Nitro, and Nitro just going to try and stick it in the smoke, but he's right on the edge of it, so Flush, I believe, had a pretty clear line of sight. Yep. So 12 to 3 is going to be the halftime score in the favor of Fnatic on the T side. Yeah, and just a big time struggle for Liquid. I mean, obviously, you know, since I said I, I talked to James beforehand, the coach for Team Liquid, and he said, you know, cash obviously was something that they wanted. And you could see a completely different Team Liquid on cash than you see here on Mirage. He knew that they were going to be in trouble, as you take a look at James. You knew that they were going to be in trouble uh, when they got onto a map like Mirage. They were hoping for a three-game series if they wanted any hopes of being able to take this one. Uh, Dust2 being, you know, kind of a neutral territory. They said that their Dust2 is pretty good here for Liquid. But unfortunately, based off of that first half here for map number two, we're not going to see Dust2. This is going to be a 2-0 series. Fnatic, I mean... They're one of the teams that's out there, one of the best teams in the world, not only just competitive-wise, but in their ability to close out matches. You very rarely see Fnatic allow comebacks. Yeah, but listen, if we saw Nitro in that last map. He's, He's going to have to go in that losing effort. He's going to have to have something similar, and it's entirely possible. We also have Hiko, who's like an X Factor. You know, if he can just win like a one-on-three spur you guys for it, because that's what you need in this kind of a situation. When you're feeling down, you need your all-stars to make big plays for you. Hiko and Nitro can provide that. And right now, it's Olaf Meister, who's being pressured at the B-bomb site. This is a rush from Team Liquid already here, but Olaf staying alive as long as possible. Even fighting that oh. kill. Nice one tap onto Fugly. Still alive. They have not cleared him out just yet. Finally, Nitro does it, but all the rotations are in, and they're getting cleaned out by Liquid. Yeah, and again, you were talking about Nitro kind of having to step his game up. Gets two big kills in the pistol round. This could be, you know, a little bit of a breather here for the uh, for the now terrorist side of Liquid. Adren goes down to Crims, but we'll see what kind of a retake it is. Elise over here on Catwalk. He's going to go to battle with Flusha. Flusha spamming away, but Elise is going to win that battle, and Elise comes back around. Crims takes down Hiko, so it's a two versus one, but Nitro playing this one so smart. Gets himself in the kitchen. They've got a nice little crossfire. And there's the stick. Elise going to find the third, and that is going to be a very nice round there from Team Liquid. Now it's just going to be a matter of stringing them together and capitalizing on mistakes from Fnatic. Yeah, this was sick by Olaf. Just staying along, alive as long as possible. You look already, all the members of Fnatic are in the kitchen, and Nitro just eventually just gets fed up with it. He's like, all right, we got to clear him out of here. I'm going to go take care of it. Gets that kill. That's what allows Liquid to stream into the bomb site. Get comfortable and get the bomb planted. And now we see a little hodgepodge buy here from the terrorist side. They've got an AK, a Galil, and then a couple of SMGs to boot. And you can see actually Fugly's going to go down into the underpass. I believe there's actually a player down there. Yeah, it's JW. He's tucked away in the corner. He takes the peek, catches one with the nade out. But now they know that he's down there. And they're going to go ahead and drop that nade and take him down. Drin's going to be able to find that with the MP7. And uh, again, this MAC-10 long range going to look for some damage onto Olaf Meister. He's down to 58, but a lot of damage has also been dealt here to some of the terrorist side players. Elise at 65, 58 for Adrenaline, 39 for Fugly. So some damage being dealt on both sides of this one. So this is not something that Fnatic, uh, you know, they're willing to back down from. They can still do a lot of damage this round. Yeah, Liquid not not choosing anywhere to commit to quite yet. Now they're now they're aggressing forward into those B halls. Adren's going to find himself in a connector. Nitro working his way. Up Catwalk as well. It's going to be Flusha over at that B bomb site. He's the one they're going to have to deal with, and he's getting a lot of pressure. Oh, that nade was really nice, though. It did so much damage to Elysian. He cleans him up for free, looking for a second, and he gets it as well. He goes down. The long reload on that CZ, though, is going to cost him his life as Nitro chimes in with two more of this round as well. And now it's Dennis with the Desert Eagle there from Kitchen. Crim's coming around from the backside of Catwalk. There's still a lot of work here for Fnatic to do, but they've got so many players that are so low. There it is, Dennis is going to give himself away. Actually hits the wall bang on the Nitro, takes him down, so still doable. Comes out though, Adren cleans him up, and Crims, one versus two. Adren tucked away in the corner, loses his life. This is very, very expensive now here for the terrorist side. Fugly trying to make it happen. Ends up losing his life in the long run, but no kit, so no danger of really losing the doesn't, round. It doesn't even matter. They, they've done everything. They got all the kills. Uh, yeah. Now it's going to force so many rebuys out of Team Liquid, just keeping that money low. This is the thing with this kind of a lead. Grind out the money situation. Force this. Force Liquid to, you know, if they want to go for an AWP, maybe they can't afford it next round because of how many people they just lost. You know, at some point, if you keep doing all this damage, they're going to be, you know, running low on smokes. They won't be able to have those long-term tactics. You know, it's not, you can't just use... You know, two smokes to take control of mid and then an execute onto the A bomb site if you only have three smokes to work with. So Fnatic, despite losing that round, they still just won the economy game essentially early on. 
Yeah. I mean, basically, that's exactly what it was because it negates all that money that you just made with those SMGs. You know, now you got to rebuy a couple of SMGs here, two MP7s, and then you've also got three AKs that have been bought up, too. So it's uh, pretty risky stuff. And now you can see barreling in towards this B bomb site. They've been favoring B so far in all three of these rounds, but going to lay a dink out. Elise is down to 41 HP, and the push is going to come around from the uh, kitchen side. You saw three players that were actually over in market, but they're going to flee from that area. And here's that boost again over top of the double stack boxes on catwalk. Dennis is going to peek out. He's ready for it. Oh, wow. barely. He gets brought down to 18 HP. Nice shot from Dennis. And look, at the Fnatic's not even trying to go for this whatsoever. They're just setting up containment. They're just saying, all right, we got five kills last round. If we get, you know, any kill we get in this round is just a bonus because it's just more rebuys. Nitro, he's going to have to take down Dennis, but a nice shoulder peek. Feeling awkward for Nitro. Dennis trying to land the shot. Molotov is going to hold him back for how long? The rest of Fnatic is trying to find ways to get some of these exit kills. Now they've got two players over. They're going to press on in. There's the first one. Switching over to the Glock, and it's Hiko to try to find anything else. But again, you know, actually, that's not that bad because Krems actually bought head armor into that Eco round and a 5.7. So he manages to hang on to that, you know, that $1,500 investment in that round, and he's going to pick up an M4 and a full nade stack along with a kit as well. So they've got one kit to, to, to work with here on the CT side, which is... Maybe one kit too few, but we'll see how that one pans out. 12 to 6 is going to be your scoreline. Six rounds the difference. Team Liquid trying to get themselves back into this one, but it's going to be on the back of a 5 AK buy, and we'll see whether or not Nitro can have another dominant T side performance. But Adren is down, Fugly is down, and things not looking good early on in this one. Elise answer is back, but Hiko gets traded, and we are down to a 4 versus 2. But it is going to be Elise and Nitro, and we'll see what the entry fraggers can do here. There's another one for Elise, another one for Nitro. They're bringing this one back, and Elise and Nitro get it done in a 2v4. That was massive. Yeah, that's really good from them. I mean, that, that initial mid play out of Team Liquid, that was a very fast split onto the eight bombs. It's really cool watching Fnatic. If you watch, like, the mini-map, they, you know, they don't take long-range battles in mid. It's at a certain point when Liquid, you know, reaches the base of Connector. It's like everyone from Fnatic is just like, all right, this is where we peak. This is, they don't go any farther than this. So they eliminate half the attack, but it's beautifully done by that duo, that Nitro and Elise. From there, they salvage the round. Some really good shots and nice trading there at the end by Nitro. Yeah, so again, we're going to see them inch ever so much closer. Five rounds now difference. It's going to force another save round here for Fnatic. Great nade up from Subway. is going to find heavy damage onto JW. That was an 80 damage nade. Molotov into the corner. JW, see you later. He's going to roast. And another Molotov. Oh, man, is Olaf Meister going to go down here? The nades and the mollies have done so much damage. Adren gets the shot off, takes him down. Not a lot of damage being dealt just yet. Elise is going to be able to find one more onto Dennis, and that's going to force Crims to turtle up inside a palace, waiting for the push to come in towards A. His teammate all the way over in CT spawn. That's Flusher with the CZ-75, but so much work ahead of him. But Flusher with a nice shot, takes down Nitro. See you later. Three shots from the CZ, and you're gone. Still got to contend with Krims up here in Palace. And Flusha again finds another one. So here comes that expensive part of the round. And now Krims pushes, and he goes down. That almost looked believable after Flusha gets those two kills, and you see the positioning of Krims. So very nicely done to just be wise of the fact and be ready for that kind of a push. So Flusha has an AK-47. Now he could try and go away, but it looks like he still wants to grab one more kill before falling back. No chance of him winning this round without a kit. He's going to take that fight long range. He's going to get Goosh down to 10 HP or 11 HP. Not too much more he can do here. And he is going to move forward, and Fugly's just going to drop him 8 to 12 now for Team Liquid, closing the gap just a little bit. Yeah, they're at least starting to make the, uh, make the Fnatic side sweat a little bit. And you can actually see the top fragger in the server once again is Nitro. 20 and 14. He's having a fantastic series here. It's really, uh, you know, you, you expect Fugly to be doing a little bit more for the Liquid side. You know, he's been, he's one of the most consistent players in North American Counter-Strike as far as just always constantly being there as a, as a solid person that you can rely on to have a, you know, a good fray count at the end of a match. And Hiko needs to step up. I think he's down at seven kills himself. And look at that nade at the top side of mid. Olaf Meister with the off on Cat's going to open up first blood here. They're going to molly him back. And Fugly answers back, takes Flusha down. So that's a nice little bit of a trade there. But Olaf Meister again chiming in with that AWP. Dennis as well with the M4 takes down a lesion. We're down to a two versus four. This time it's Hiko and Adren. The two kind of clutch duo here from the Liquid side. And we'll see if they can do it once again. Fortunately, they know that there's an op on the halls, and Hiko's going to get that opening kill. Now he's going to be able to get the bomb planted. Adren can push forward a little bit, provide him some cover. 
Out of nades is the liquid side in a two on three. Hiko's been so spotted crossing over towards bench. That was Krims. Jumped up with the angle. Flashbang comes out. They're going to aggress onto Hiko. He's going to win that first battle. Dennis falls. He's going to get a second one. And he's got to win this one on one. And he's found out where Krims is, but he reloads. He's biding his time. And Krims pushing forward, being aggressive. Hiko absolutely has to win this one, but he can't do it. Krims is going to find the angle in the end. And with the kit, He's, this is going to be an easy to fuse. Yeah, so close. But again, we saw this kind of happen to uh, Team Liquid in the first half, you know, losing four members on a gun round. This was a very tight buy here for the CT side anyway. But again, you know, Hiko with the late round heroics almost clutching out the 1v3. Just unfortunately comes up just a little bit too short. But now look at this buy here on the CT side. You've got two umps. Olaf Meister barely gets the off back in his hands. I think he actually got dropped that from one of his teammates because he actually does have a full nade kit. But... They've got two umps on their side. The armor pin is good, yeah, but you're still facing up against entry fraggers like Elysian and Nitro that should just be able to destroy you if you've got an SMG. Listen, Fnatic can use whatever gun they want. <laughs> I'm willing. I'm willing to let them have that. Okay, I'll but give it's going to gonna you be Olaf with his AWP. I mean, he had he had exerted some force in mid at last round, just whittling down this attack, picking people off left and right. And he's actually going to rotate away from it just as Team Liquid streams out. The smoke comes into play, and that forces him back. So three members of Team Liquid are at the base of Connector. Two are over at the A bombsite. One's going to be at A ramp. One's going to be at the A halls. But Nitro's going to get that first pick onto Crims. Yeah, this is big. Actually, Dennis over here from Ticket Booth, he's going to be spotting out for one, but it's going to be the UMP up close here from Sandwich. And JW, he's going to take down two. And it's like you said, it doesn't matter what guns they're using because they managed to find these kills somehow anyway. And again, it's going to be a dread to chime back in. Finally trades that frag out. And now they've got to be careful because there's one in connector. That's going to be Flusha. The ump's doing work this round. And it's all down to a Dren. Three versus one. Spots the first, spots the second. Can he get the third? It's going to be Flusha. Down to 17 HP, though. He's got three kills on the round. Drops the Molotov, but Flusha with the superior positioning, and he's going to take that fight, takes down a Dren, and now Fnatic 14 to 8. Yeah, two one on ones in a row for Team Liquid. That could have kept the magic alive, and they're not able to win. I don't think Dren expected Flusha to have swung so wide, but that was a beautiful transfer uh, right there at the end, and that second kill, almost even a third. You just can't win it out in the end, and now it's do or die time. 8 to 14, Team Liquid. Long way to go. They're going to buy into this round. He goes stuck on a Tech 9, but everyone else, I mean, Fugly's on a Tech 9, but at least he's got armor. Two AKs and up and two Tech 9s for Team Liquid in a desperate situation. Desperate indeed. Back to a six round lead here for Fnatic, and it looks like it's going to be a heavy pressure on towards that B bomb say Once again, here from the Team Liquid side, you can see the needs go raining in. Fugly gets tapped down to 83 HP to start this round out. But again, you know, it's just going to be that slow play finally from Team Liquid. They've gone really aggressive the last couple of rounds, and granted, it paid off, but it came down to the clutch play. You know, the, the last two times. Actually, it didn't pay off the last two times because it came down to that 3v1 for Hiko and that 3v1 for Adrin. And it's, you know, you see those late round heroics. It's so close, but unfortunately, they don't end up getting the round. But now with Fnatic, it was two one player alive rounds in a row. So their money is not great. One trade of rounds and Team Liquid could be back into a little bit of a heavy favor. Yeah, here comes the execute, oh, though, and JW inside the smoke. He's going to fool Liquid a little bit. So much damage is being dealt. Flush, and here's Olaf finally swinging out. But Flush is still holding strong. Three members of Fnatic are here. They've read this perfectly, and it's a slaughter. Yeah, and with that investment there from Team Liquid, this is going to be a measly, measly buy from them. Tech Nine's in armor for sure. Maybe a scout on the back of a Dren try to do some damage here, but looks like it's just going to be Tech Nine's in armor, and we'll see where they decide to go. But again, Dennis, he's staying on that Mag 7. The rest of them are going to have a full arsenal here for the CT side, but 15 to 8, not looking good here for Fnatic, or pardon me, for Team Liquid. Looking great for Fnatic. Yeah, that really is. I mean, 16, 14 on cash, stealing away Liquid's buy, or Liquid's uh, map choice, and now you've got, you know, seven rounds to play with here on Mirage. It's tough. Yeah, just a standard execution now for Team Liquid. All Tech Nines on the board going to try and push forward. The smokes are out, but Dennis is going to be close up with a shotgun. He can't get anything going, but there's a nice crossfire. JW gets one before falling for Cribs. Comes in to save the day. Three kills for him, and Olaf is going to finish things off. 16 to 8 is the final score as Fnatic are going to move on. Yeah, and again, like you said, you know, it was kind of Nitro leading the way for Liquid. They just come up a little bit short there in the first map, and 
The second map, not nearly as close as uh, as what the first one was, but again, Nitro having another very, very solid series here and shows you why he's one of the top players in the North American scene right now. Just